Yeah, let's start this off. So this is an artist I've been wanting to do for a really long time. I've had this portrait saved for oh God, I don't know, over a year probably. I've just been sitting on it waiting for the right time. Well, I started it and coincidentally that the same week I started it, it happened to be the 25th anniversary of his debut album release, Only Built for Cuban Links. So I decided to just continue it and finish it up. So this is gonna be a little quick tutorial of how I did this portrait and hopefully give you guys some tips and some insight to how I go about doing these portraits and hopefully they'll help you in the future with doing yours or give you some inspiration to start something you've been sitting on. So let's go. So something I always use is an X-Acto knife. A really good tool to have in your arsenal. What it's really good for is if you have these like mechanical erasers you can shave them off to a nice point like this. So if you want to get into do some fine details, you can kind of pick out some areas. It's really good for highlights in the eyes or if you're doing hairs on the face, details in fabric, etc. You get the idea. So you'll see as I do my portraits, I always kind of bounce around back and forth between some light and mid, then to dark. I'll go back and forth, do some mid-tones, start to fill them in. And then I'll come in with either a tortillion or a blending stub, or as you've seen, I use brushes. They work really nice for doing a light blend. Um, and interesting when you work with them and then you go back in with here I'm using charcoal because I wanted to add some some different kind of texture to the background because he's standing in front of a cement wall so it's got some some strange texture in it so I thought the brush might help to, uh, to blend it out and build it back up. Depending on your surfaces, or whatever it may be, if it's fabric, whatever clothing the person's wearing, even the skin, depending on what you use to blend it out, you'll notice you get different, a different type of blend, so different tools work for different things. This is just practice, and sometimes really strange things work, so there's no right or wrong tool, really. It's just play around and see what works. So here I'm just going in with a darker pencil. I'm just trying to darken some of these lines, the bits of the lips and the corners there. You get those, those deeper creases. bits of hair on the neck as well and again the folds in the neck and here I just continue to layer up depending on what I'm doing I, I usually like to have a really sharp pencil when working on the hoodie or fabric sometimes you want to have a dull edge to soften a crease. This can be personal preference. For me, I don't like to have super bold or super sharp edges on, on certain things, but that's up to you, that's all. So here I'm using, it's like a little sponge brush. I 
I also really like to use a kneaded eraser because you can you can kind of blend out with them, which is nice, rather than just a harsh line. Or you can make a fine point and kind of do little dabs on the skin and pull out areas so you can get good pore textures. And here I'm going back in with the charcoal again. I'm using the dark charcoal to make things pop. Charcoal works really great accompanied with graphite because it won't reflect the light so it'll just absorb it. So you get good depth. So using the Illustrator account I have I decided to do these almost like art for the for the single so when I'm listening to the artist when I when I work on the piece there's always a song or two that really stand out to me so when doing this portrait the track Glaciers of Ice is it's always stood out to me I really like his verse and just the production of that track I decided to use that song so I thought I would just pick an image based on the song and I would highlight his verse. So this will accompany the piece. If you listen to the song and look at the portrait, they kind of go hand in hand. So just something different I decided to do additionally. So here you can see I'm near the end of the portrait and I'm just working on the sweater. Now here you can get away with not having it super crazy blended out or super realistic because the lines in the fabric kind of go a few different ways so you can almost get away with a cross hatch and you don't have to blend it out too much because when you stand back to look at it your eye kind of fills in those gaps and it, it will make sense you don't have to make it hyper realistic you don't have to spend too much time to get a, a decent look it adds enough texture on top of your blends that you know, it looks looks realistic all right and that about finishes it up this is the finished piece it was a lot of fun working on and that's a tribute to the classic only built for Cuban links.